Gilly Roman has been at the Holocaust Memorial Museum before. This time the German-Israeli didn't come to Washington to learn about the past, but to fight for the future of his sister, Yarden Roman. On Saturday morning, we all got into the shelters. I got to the shelter in Tel Aviv. She got to the shelter in Berry next to Aza. So I asked like, which teddy bear got into the shelter, which teddy bear go, le was left out. And she was kind of frustrated that the favorite teddy bears were, were uh, kind of neglected outside. And the Geff and my, her, my niece might be upset with her. And I said, leave it. She will meet the teddy bears. You will be OK. Yarden hid with her husband Alon and Geffen. But it wasn't going to be OK. The shelter wasn't a safe place. They were taken, uh, the three of them, inside a vehicle with four armed terrorists towards Gaza. And at a certain point next to the border, they decided to escape. They ran outside, jumped out of the moving car. Yarden was holding Geffen in her hands and they were starting running towards the forest, like a small forest. Trying to find shelter, the tourists noticed them, started to run after them, shooting at them, trying to either kill them or c capture them again. Then Yarden found, uh, understood that she cannot run fast enough, so she just gave the most pressure thing in her life to the hands of her husband alone, and he managed to run away really fast and find a hiding spot where he was hiding with Geffen until dark, dark time, more than 12 hours, with no food, no water, nothing. Then they started to uh, slowly get into the kibbutz. Jewish groups here in the US are financing Gilly Roman's trip to Washington so he can meet with lawmakers on Capitol Hill. It's crucial for us to convey the message that time is running out and we have to be vocal and we have to act and we need them to stand with us to express this message on the Senate floor to ensure that people do not forget that there are still over 200 people alive that can still be saved today, tomorrow. If I could speak with Yarden right now and to deliver a message to her, it's clear that the first thing that I would tell her is that Geffen, her daughter, is alive. And the brave act that she has done to run away and to give Geffen to her husband alone was worthwhile and Geffen is safe and happy and, and secure with us. Back at the Holocaust Memorial Museum, Gilly Roman lays out the connections between then and now. Our family story comes from what we are seeing here, from the Holocaust, that my grandmother, my German grandmother, managed to run away just the day after Kristallnacht. Uh, all of her family, except from her brother, has died there. And uh, she taught us how important it is, it is to have a state and to have a secure homeland for ourselves. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's not completely secure. If my sister had to, fl to run away also from people trying to kill her just because she's Jewish and trying to shoot at her and her innocent uh, child. But it's crucial for us to keep this uh, security and to have also Germany by our side and with us. So we have to have a safe space in this world. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.